happened today? So recently, one of our viewers uh, sent us an email and said, my reels are not spinning in my antique slot machine. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of go over the function of how the reels work. Uh, as you can imagine, there's four major manufacturers, Mills, Pace, Jennings, and Watling. However, you want to always remember, just like cars, a Ford has a distributor in the back and a Chevrolet has a distributor in the front. So even though the mechanics are completely different, they all do the same function. A slot machine has a motor transom rear end just like all of the vehicles. They all have to have certain components to it in order for the machine to work. It's just how do they get it done. I'm assuming that this gentleman has a Mills machine, but once again, the functions are the same. So I'm going to kind of go over here how the machine would kick the reels and uh, you should learn a few things here that you could check out on your own. So the first thing I've done is I've taken off the brakes which actually sit back here because I'm going to pull the bundle out of this. And these sit up here like this, okay, and go here. Now in order for me to get this out, I have to take these. What these are is they're actually brakes. This here would go up and down in order to put tension on the three reels and each and every one of them had its own brake because once they got done with these at the factory, some of them would haul ass, some of them would be slow and this gave you the ability to time the reels so it had a nice sequence, one, two, three. Now if I get a machine in that actually uh, the reels ain't spinning, sometimes it's a pretty easy fix. Come around here. Uh, first thing I want to show you is how to cock the machine in order to get the reels going. So there's a dog in here, right back in here, and there's a pork chop back in here, and you can see all the little nodges on it, right, right here. So I'm able, because they didn't want the machine to go backwards, you're able to cock this machine a little at a time. You see this? Okay, and it won't go backwards. You don't want it to go backwards because it, it would spin the wheels backwards and it'd be all, all messed up. So it has a, a cog in there. So if you go all the way through, naturally it's gonna spin. One of the things, so I don't know what's wrong with the gentleman's machine, but in many cases you will get these in. He says his reels won't spin, but sometimes they're just spinning slow, right? He can't get them to spin. That's because they're gummed up in here. And one of the simple fixes for that is to take a little WD-40 and you're going to go in here and you're going to squirt where the reels spin, right? We're going to get a little here. We're going to get a little here. Okay, and then we want to get some in here because this is the other major portion of it, right? So now what I can do is if I want to, now I'm gonna, as you see, but I'm gonna show you because you don't have one of these tools. There's a lot of mechanics tools which the old boys had and I'll show you some of them here. Uh, these were very important tools. You actually could buy a slot machine or they manufactured bending kit. Slot machines actually got tweaked into position once they went down the line and there was lots of shim washers and there was a lot of things that they used just like cars, okay, to shim them because once they come out of the molds and out of the stamps, everything is not precise. So you would adjust these machines with these tools, these bending tools, they were really bent. And I think that's the secret is what makes slot mechanics good ones is they know what to bend. Sometimes it can just be a, eh, see, I fixed it. And that happens really quite frequently. So what I'm gonna do first here is I wanna get just a plain old screwdriver let me find the one I want to use. Well, I take this one, okay? So now I'm going to pull back the coin detector. This, this is what detects the coin up here, okay? So if I hold that back, the machine thinks there's a coin in there, okay? Now, as you can see, our reels are spinning very nicely. Uh, the other thing that I will do is your clock is down here, okay? In order, if they're just slow, I'm just going to stop the clock. I'm going to put my screwdriver in here. Then I can shoot my juice in here and run them one at a time until I loosen them up, okay? just like that, right? And they will loosen up. Okay, now let's go to the functionality of the whole thing. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me to show you how this all works with this real bundle in here, okay? But as you can see, this one is, is spinning nice, okay? So, in order to get this bundle out, you take the brakes off. Then you have to cock the machine here so that you can get these pay fingers off of these tins because now these are spring loaded onto these as well as you have to get the real stops out of the cogs okay so now I'm going to cock it and I'm going to get just before it goes through its cycle okay once again how you do that you see it's really quite simple it thinks it has a coin in there I hit cherries okay I'm, so once I do this, which I missed it that round. 
So what I've done here is that by half cocking this, I've gotten these off of these tins. I've got these pay fingers off these tins because they're all spring loaded onto this one, as well as now I have these out of the cogs, okay? So now what I can do is I'm gonna take this screw out. You gotta loosen this one, you don't have to take it out. And then there's the one over here on this side. Okay, you push this out of the way. Now you can get to this screw. These are the two set screws that hold the bar in, okay? So now that we got that done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a pair of something here, okay? And I am going to grab the pin and I'm gonna pull the pin out, bada boom. Then these just, these work out, okay? There you go. Uh, by the way, this is your combinations. What you see here, every hole on this bundle represents a symbol, and that's how it actually pays. You see there's three of them, and as they turn, they have to line up to hit your payouts, okay? These holes represent these symbols. These fingers represent your payouts, and it starts from cherries, oranges, plums, bells, bars. That is your vertical finger. This is your horizontal fingers. We go back to cherries, oranges, plums, bells, bars. These fingers here are staggered in order to hit them correctly. These, these go through, they push this out of the way, letting the correct slides come back. Once again, you go here where you start at cherries, oranges, plums, bells, bars. So everything is in sequence, one, two, three, and it's cherries to bars, cherries to bars, cherries to bars. There's three places that happens. It's here, here, and here. Okay, so now let's get back to, there could be quite a few things wrong why the reels don't spin. If they're slow, I've kind of showed you how to lube them up. Uh, you can play these out of the, without a mechanism in them. So what happens here is this is your, uh, your, one of your timing bars. You really have two timing bars in here, this being one of them. And as I play this, you're going to see that this here, see it, watch this, one, one stop, two stop, three stop. Okay, and that's your timing bar. It always hits jackpot when the bundle's out because our jackpot finger, all the fingers are pushing it out of the way. That's why this whole stack went back. Back here is another timing bar, okay? This here as well as this is very important because this right here holds your reels when you cock it from going backwards, okay? So this has to pop into place at the right time. So once you uh, turn this machine over, this is the kick arm. This is actually the arm which actually kicks the reels, okay? So this, this will come up, okay, and grab those wheels, and you see it's gonna boom. Now it's kicked them. Now it's at that point that these are off the tins. This has held the reels in right here. This has held the reels in so they won't spin backwards because as this is raking these tins. It is raking up on those tins. Something has to hold them from going backwards. So it rakes them backwards. This piece here holds them in place. And when the whole thing goes through its cycle, this gets out of the way and that kicks them. Okay. This, there's several different pieces here, which also is the timing portion of the wheels. <clears throat> okay. Which allows, if you see here, this would be back here. So this is the part which I can, you see that pushes it away. Boom, it's gonna go back in and be ready to be played again. Um, the other important thing is a lot of the times is there's a very small adjustment right in here. Okay, if you see this right here, as you see, that's an adjustable. So if it's not spinning, maybe you're playing it and these are regulated by that. So maybe these are just coming back too quick and it's holding it from spinning, okay? So if that's the case, you would adjust this in a little bit, okay, to hold them back a little longer. In this pork chop back here, if you watch, you see here, right here, now it's gonna get out of the way, which allows these to come back, okay? Sure. Let me see here. Right, this is an important adjustment. So on this pork chop, now, come on. Well, there we go. Come on, baby. Right here. And then these come in. And then these 
push these out of the way. I'm jackpotting every time because all my fingers are going in. So it could be a multitude of things. And once again, I showed you in the very beginning all of our bending tools because sometimes you, wanted, you might have to bend this, you might have to bend that, you might have to lube this, but that's what we do. I've been doing this for 40 years. Uh, I've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of machines. For the last 35 years, I always gave a lifetime guarantee on my rebuilt slot machines, which I still do today. However, that is in shop. You got to bring it to me. Once this machine has been gone through, these are uh, this machine right here, if you bought this from me, once I go through it, you will not be able to wear it out. Your grandkids will not be able to wear it out or your great grandkids will not be able to wear it out in home play. These were built, this is all cast iron, hardened steel, stamped steel. I mean, they built machines to run forever. And typically when you get them in, uh, they're, they're like 20% wore out over their 50 year life now. They got so far to go. So if I sell a machine that I've completely gone through, somebody calls up and I might add, I've been doing it for 40 years. There's not one in the shop. I probably haven't had a call in six months and everybody still has my same phone number because I've kept it all these years. I had a guy come in not too long ago and he had bought a machine from me 25 years ago and he came in and brought it in. I said, you buy that from me? I said, he said, yeah, I bought it from you. So I got it up here. Typically I even fix them while they wait because something minor has happened. The machine is in good shape. So I fixed the machine for him and he goes, well, what do I owe you? I said, well, now this is 20 years later. He says, well, what do I owe you? I said, you don't owe me nothing. When you bought this machine, I gave you a lifetime guarantee. He said, you're absolutely right. I just wanted to make sure you still remember. I said, I remember because everybody gets the same deal. So these are really good, tough machines. It's difficult for me to pin down what exactly your problem is, but I hope this has helped you today to give you a little insight on kind of the one, two, three, four, five of the mechanics of them. What do you think, Mr. Walker? Uh, I want to thank him for subscribing. I want to, yes, absolutely. I want to thank all our subscribers. We have, man, we have a tremendous amount of people all around the world now that are contacting us on a daily basis, this gentleman being one of them. I mean, we're getting, the cards and letters are coming in. We're trying to do a really good job for you folks. Hopefully we're bringing you some great entertainment. Some people actually say, God, I watched your videos for four or five hours. I have my buddies over, believe it or not, they love this stuff. And we keep trying to produce very nice pieces that are interesting. This is cute, but you know, if you, uh, if you want to bring it in, we'll take a look at it. It's probably not a big deal. Or you want to buy one. Well, yeah, if you want to buy one, you got to get a hold of us. We build good products. Once again, uh, I lifetime guarantee in shop on my rebuilt slot machines, because once they're done, it's just some sort of a little nothing. It's done, you know. Uh, and you know, remember we, uh, we're doing some layaway now. We've always been doing it. We, uh, we're doing lots of restoration. It's coming in from around the world, or at least around the country. For uh, People are just contact us in and stuff. I got four or five pieces in here right now from all over the country. It's one stop shop. You want something restored, send us some photographs. We will give you a price. We will have a truck come up, pick it up at your house or place of business. It will be brought here, it will be restored and it will be delivered one phone call we take care of everything else and we'll give you a uh, nice pretty much firm prices over the phone anyway thank you all for watching very much we appreciate your patronage and uh, look forward to doing another video for you these are mantiques antique mantique these guys sell mantiques this is their store we're picking we're bringing stuff every day in and out in and out in and out we're, we're, we're shaking and baking these are their customers give me the rundown on the gmc this lived in a bar in ghent in belgium follow jim and jeff from nine to five or after hours as they buy sell and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide